boarding school have now accused their caretaker of violence and assault. That's the big story we're focusing on at this hour. It seems no lessons have been learned after the shelter home horrors in Muzaffarpur. This time it's a boarding school that we're looking at where girls claim that their caretaker is a violent alcoholic who beat them up on a regular basis. The girls have also claimed that they were pressurized to withdraw their complaints and were also threatened with expulsion from the boarding school. An FIR has been registered against the caretaker. The district magistrate has said that only women, only girls, in fact, will be allowed to enter the hostel from now on and has asked the police to increase security around this hostel. बोलाए थे ना हमको पूछने के लिए हम बताए थे ना तो बोले थे ना कि अगर सच बोलेगी ना तो तुमको नाम काट के भगा देंगे हॉस्टल से जो तुम्हारा माँ बाप भी कुछ भी नहीं करेगा कौन बोलेगी रोजिला मैम अच्छा तो रोजिला मैम मुलों से मिली हुई है हाँ तो शराब शराब अक्सर पीते हैं बेटा तुम देखी थी पीते हुए हाँ and where did you go? In the office. In the office. In the office. Yes. What happened? That day, he was killed by a little girl. What did he say? He said that he was taking a little girl. He was late, so he was killed. He said that he wouldn't get it. हमेशा यहाँ पर शराब पीते हैं या उस दिन पी जाते हैं? बहुत बार पीए हैं। हम लोग को इतना पता नहीं था, लेकिन उस दिन देख लिए थे ना हम लोग इसलिए। ये छोटी बच्ची को वो अति पता नहीं हम लोग को, लेकिन ये जब इसको हम रोते हुए देखे कि ये रो रही थी, जब इससे हम बात किए कि क्यों रो रही है तो वो बोले कि हम पता नहीं क्यों पी हम गए वो नाश्ता लेने के लिए वो बोले कि हम नाश्ता दीजिए तो वो शायद नशा में थे उनका मुंह से बदबू आ रहा था तो हम बोले कि तुम सही देखी थे कि हाँ हमको नशा में वो पीते हैं वो रो रही थी तो सारी लड़की जाने की वो नशा में है और दस बजे तक वो शराब पीते हैं यहाँ आंटी लोग गार्ड वाली आंटी है वो भी बोले कि दस बजे तक ग्रिल लगाना है लेकिन आप लोग यहाँ क्या कर रहे हैं ऐसा बोल रहे और ये सब बेटा यहाँ शराब भी पीते हैं वो लोग यहाँ बैठ के हाँ ये आंटी इस बात को प्रूफ भी दे सकती है और ये तो हम वो सभी लड़की लोग मिलकर ये उनके खिलाफ क्योंकि सब जानती है कि वो शराब पीते हैं तो इसके लिए सब बोल रही थी कि हम इसके लिए बोलने इसी उन्हीं के खिलाफ हम लोग सब जान रहे हैं कि ये शराब पीते हैं सब लोग मीडिया और भी आए थे प्रशासन लोग तो उनके द्वारा हम लोग उनके खिलाफ बोले हैं हाँ हम देखे हैं सर आप शराब पीते थे हाँ तीस अठाईस तारीख के दिन रात में हम बच्चे के लेकर चल गए सर डॉक्टर के हाँ अब उस बीच में आए हमार हमार भैया हम तो देखे नहीं सर तो ब्लड प्रकृति तो सिपाही ना जानेगा कि कैसे ढूँके हम चल गए डॉक्टर के हाँ उसके बाद हम आए दस बजे रात में बच्चे के लेकर डॉक्टर के हाथ से तो हम गए तारा लगाने के लिए गेट में कह रहे सोया कि बाहर निकले हमको तारा लगाना है तो देखे कि अंदर में तीन चार आदमी बैठे हुए हैं हमको देखे तो गेट बंद कर लिए तो बैठे हुए थे तो क्या शराब पी रहे थे अंदर में शराब नहीं देखे सर तो हमको देखे तो गेट बंद कहे कर लिए शराब के पी रहे हैं तब तो गेट बंद किए सर नहीं पीते तो क्यों गेट कहे बंद करते हैं एक आरोप आया है कि जो एनजीओज के जो एनजीओज ने जो वहाँ पे अपने कर्मचारी को रखा था केयर टेकर के रूप में उसका आचरण कुछ सही नहीं था उस पर हम लोगों ने कार्रवाई कर दिया है और साथ ही साथ सुरक्षा के संबंध में वहाँ कुछ नए आयाम हम लोगों ने फिक्स किए हैं सुरक्षा ऑडिट हमने करवाया है सुरक्षा ठीक थी लेकिन और ज़्यादा सुरक्षित करने के लिए उसमें अलग से एक चार दिवाली सी कैमरा और बढ़ाया जाएगा इसके अलावा हमने एक निर्देश दिया है कि जो अंदर में चूँकि महिला छात्र लड़कियों का छात्रावास है वो तो सिर्फ महिलाओं का ही प्रवेश होगा वो मेस हो या वो केयर टेकर हो या कोई भी हो वो सिर्फ पुरुष नहीं रहेंगे वहाँ पर महिलाएं ही रहेंगी इसके अलावा अतिरिक्त पुलिस बल के लिए भी हमने एस को लिखा है my colleague uh, Sham Sundar joining me on the phone line. Sham, we just heard the DM of Jehanabad now telling us that there will be stricter monitoring mechanism, but why was it not in place so far? And for something like this to come to light, usually it takes a very long time because after all, these are girls who are studying in this boarding school. They're clearly under the clutches of these uh, people, the NGO coordinator in this particular case, who they have alleged operates under the influence of alcohol and beats up girls. Tell us what we know about this story. Well, yes, absolutely. It seems that the administration has woken up now and 
uh, uh, Bihar has witnessed the Muzaffarpur uh, shelter home case, and despite that, it seems that the officials are not at all very serious about the uh, security concerns of these girls who stay in government-run residential schools or be it shelter homes. Now, as far as this Jahanabad uh, school is concerned, it is a government residential school which is given to an NGO. Now, these residential schools are given to NGOs to operate. Now, this NGO had had kept a caretaker in that particular hostel where he said that the caretaker would consume alcohol along with other people in the mess of the hostel. Now, only girls stay in this hostel, hostel so certainly this type of illegal activities was being done by the caretaker. It was only when the girls came to know about it and they complained about it that the matter came to light. Now the, the district magistrate has been saying that, yes, walls will be constructed, CCTVs will be installed. Now the big question is that despite knowing everything, why was the district administration not serious about it? Why were there no audits of this hostel? Now usually what happens is the social welfare department conducts audits of all the government-run hostels and schools. But what about this particular school was the audit done was everything found to be in a good situation and if so the report was that the situation was good why these type of complaints have been coming so certainly this is a serious lapse on part of the government now anything could have happened because the girls clearly said that the caretaker would physically abuse them he would beat them up if they, if they asked for food or for snacks now certainly it only came to light when one of the girls mustered the courage to complain yes, about it. And the but Shan, there is another them. issue here. You know, if you heard uh, the versions, the testimonies of the students, they are saying uh, that uh, much of it happens in the presence of the women supervisors. And there is uh, a very clear indication that some of these women staff are in cahoots with those men and they work in connivance. So this solution that the DM is coming up with, that only women staff would be allowed, will that even help? Well, not absolutely. The, the the girls clearly said that the women employees would also threaten them that they would be restricted from the school. The parents would could not do anything for them, and they would be sent back home. Certainly, they would be threatened. They mm. threatened these girls not to complain about it to the police or to the uh, of, officials. Now, certainly, this NGO should the the, the, the government officials should keep, keep, take uh, note of these NGOs who are operating these type of hostels when you hand over these government-run schools and hostels to such NGOs. Certainly, you need to look into the background of these NGOs, and certainly, it seems that audits are not being conducted, or, and everything is just done on paper. So, as far as this particular case is concerned, strict action should be taken against the NGO and right. all the government officials who would who had given a go-ahead for this uh, uh, school to run, run in that Jahanabad area. Yes, you know, as of now, we only know of drunken brawls or we know of uh, physical, uh, you know, abuse. But it could be worse, isn't it? Because clearly these girls are living under the shadow of fear and intimidation. They are being told not to speak up by one of the hostel superintendents. They are being told that they could face consequences. So who's to say that things could be worse. There could be attempts to outrage their modesty. There could be actually attempts to uh, harass them in various other ways. How uh, is the administration going to make sure that this place is kept, such hostels, in fact, boarding school for girls, are kept under surveillance? The administration now has accepted that there has been some lapses on part of the, the school authorities or the NGO which was running this particular hostel, the, the, the district minister has clearly instructed the officials to install CCTV cameras which would be monitored by senior officials and he also said that a wall will be constructed and certainly he said that no male employees will be kept in this hostel and as far as the employees who would be kept would only be women and certainly they, uh, they also need to have a uh, submit a uh, certificate of the, the, the woman who will be employed there. Certainly, the government has woken up late, but the big question yeah, Sham, is... Sham, I have Ejia Yadav of the RJD, MLA from the RJD party, joining me on the phone line. Ejia Yadav ji, what we are seeing, this is extremely worrisome because this has happened after what we have exposed in Muzaffarpur, which means that the government in Bihar is not taking the government from this thing. The girls are boarding school, are boarding school are shelter homes, are destitute homes, where they are kept in this way, who are homeless, who are homeless, who are homeless. उनकी दशा और दिशा आप देखिए क्या हो रहा है बिहार में इस केस में आपका क्या कहना है जो जहानाबाद में एक्सपोज हुआ है कि अल्कोहलिक्स जो है वो सुपरवाइज करते हैं हॉस्टल्स को लड़कियों को मारते पीटते हैं फर्स्ट ऑफ़ ऑल डी वर्ड अल्कोहलिक सुपरवाइज करते हैं बिहार खदेश बनने कितना काम शराब बंदी कितना बिहार में कामयाब हुआ है ये तो नीतीश कुमार जी से क्वेश्चन करना चाहिए हूँ प्राउडली अप्लाउड्स हिमसेल्फ कि बिहार में शराब बंदी नहीं है बट यहाँ पे एक अल्कोहलिक कैरेक्टर है सेकेंडली 
वो फीमेल गर्ल्स हॉस्टल में घुस जाए वेर इज द सिक्योरिटी क्या वुमेन एम्पावरमेंट बस वोट लेने के लिए ये लोग बोलते हैं और एक्चुअली वुमेन का कोई कदर नहीं है फीमेल का कोई कदर नहीं है मुजफ्फरपुर में वही हो रहा है रेप करके वीडियोज वायरल हो रहा है जहानाबाद में सिमिलर इंसिडेंट वायलेंट एंड एब्यूज एंड फिजिकल अब्यूज एक माइनर गर्ल के साथ तो बिहार की जो स्थिति है बहुत खराब है क्राइम राइज पे है क्रिमिनल्स आर हैविंग अ गाला टाइम इट सीम्स न कानून का डर है न कोर्ट का डर है किसी चीज का डर नहीं है जो मन कर रहे हैं एंड यू शुड आस्क द चीफ मिनिस्टर ये एल्कोहलिक कैसे है जब शराबबंदी नहीं है तो बिल्कुल वुमेन एम्पावरमेंट एंड वुमेन का सिक्योरिटी सेफ्टी का है जब एक माइनर गर्ल को कॉन्स्टेंटली वायलेंटली ट्रीट किया जा रहा है बिहार इज इन अ वेरी शेमफुल स्टेट एंड वुमेन आर नॉट एट ऑल सेफ इन बिहार Yes, and the fact that these kind of supervisors take liberties with the girls, this is not the first instance. Now, what you're also telling us is, you know, what we have in fact exposed in this story is that a lot of times these women stuffers are in cahoots with unscrupulous elements. So, how do we weed that out? Because in this particular case as well, we have testimony of girls who have said to us that they've been asked to maintain silence, they've been asked to keep quiet and not expose those men who approach them. uh perhaps in an objectionable manner now how do we address that i as i told you bihar is in a very shameful state yahan pe women ka na qadr hai na kuch hai so whatever the government is doing is just a farce actually they are doing nothing for the women for the female child or this tarah se casually and lightly they are treating the issues just because uh, uh, the females they, they are considered to be the weaker sex they are told to keep them out chat और ये लोग कितना बर्दाश्त क्यों होंगी और कितना बर्दाश्त करने के बाद देन एक सैचुरेशन पॉइंट खत्म हुआ होगा देन दे मस्ट हैव स्पोकन इसको और अच्छे से एक्सपोज करना चाहिए और हॉस्टल में और भी जितनी गर्ल्स है सबके साथ पूछताछ करना चाहिए एंड देन पीपल शुड नो व्हाट इज हैपनिंग इन बिहार व्हाट द गवर्नमेंट इज डूइंग एंड व्हाट द लॉ एंड ऑर्डर इज डूइंग Absolutely, rather shameful that women are not safe inside the premises of their schools and hostels and boarding schools. Where exactly will they go? Even their immediate supervisors do not work in their interest all the time. Extremely sorry, state of affairs. Uh, Ijay Adav, thanks for joining us with your views.